As a kid, one of the games I loved the most was treasure hunting. And it was largely because I had, I always found thrills in looking for something, searching, and I don't know if you've ever felt it, that exhilarating moment when you find what you're looking for. It's a feeling that a lot of us chase for most of our lives. My name is Laoli Bitoye, and today on Chris 516, I'll be talking about treasures. It's no surprise that one of the holy books says that we have these treasures in earthen vessels. And I'm coming from a particular school of thought on that phrase, which is the fact that usually a whole lot of us have things, have precious things, precious relationships, precious resources in earthen vessels, in vessels that are not as fine, that are not as dignified, that are not as glorified as what we would probably expect or anticipate it to be like. And because of that, we despise, or not just despise, oh, you have to recognize something to despise it. We do not recognize those treasures. We do not recognize those potent resources that we have. They can come in form of our time. They can come in form of relationships, friendships, um, access to resources from other people. But we do not recognize them at all, let alone use them, maximize them, or even despise them. We just completely ignore them because we don't even know what they are worth. So a lot of us go around seeking for things that we probably already have, but we do not recognize them because they are not in the form that we expect them to be. You know I do not preach, but I'll take a cue from one of the holy books one again, that one of the, not the one of the, the most important person, the savior that these people were looking for was in their midst. And they could not even recognize that he was the one, despite all he was doing amongst them. So also, for a lot of us, we pray for things, we hope for things, we plan, prepare for things, opportunities that are probably right beside us, that are probably staring at us, right in our faces. We carry a whole lot, but we do not recognize it. So my encouragement today is in the place of where or telling us, I say us because I'm included as well, where we actually get to take stock of the people, the things we have in our lives, the relationships. There are some people you have in your lives who you you may feel they're just there, you see them every day, so well, (laughs) that's it. But they may just be the answer to that business opportunity or that idea you've been thinking about. The time that you feel you do not have but you spend relaxing, watching movie and hanging out with friends is the same time you probably need to learn that new skill you've been trying to learn. The same money that you feel you do not have to start that business or get that equipment that you've not been able to get is the same one you've been using to hang out, Flex, chill for a while. So in reality, we actually do have what we're looking for, but because it's not in the form we expect it to be, it's not in the form we are looking for it. So you're looking for a startup capital, but you've been getting about a thousand or two thousand daily, or at least every two weeks, every week like that. And then by the time you cover a month, you've actually gone through thirty thousand naira, but because you feel the thirty thousand naira didn't come at once at thirty thousand, so you feel you do not have a capital. So also you've been looking for someone to sponsor your idea, support your idea, help you shape your idea, and you have friends around you who are probably entrepreneurs or who are probably doing something, building something. And 
because they're your friends, you've gotten so familiar with them, you cannot imagine them helping you structure your idea or helping you start your own business. We carry treasures all around us. We carry value. But because we have not identified, recognized them, they go wasting away. And more often than not, it is until those opportunities, it is until those people are not close by anymore, that that resource that we've so much commonized is not available to us anymore. That is when we realize recognize the value that we have been ignoring all the while. So I leave you with this. Take stock of your life. For that need that you have, for that thing you've been thinking about and you're wondering how you're going to go about it, take stock of the people in your life and objectively consider who probably is doing something like that or can do something like that or can offer idea, offer counsel towards that thing. If it finances what's been going through your hand, how can you save more? How can you break it down to bits to see how it will meet the need you're trying to meet? There is always treasures around. We just need to recognize them. My name is Lauli Victoria. Thank you for listening.